This video contains a brief tutorial on using Tracker to analyse a ball toss. First, we import the video. This video needs to be rotated. This can be done by right clicking and selecting the option Filter and then Rotate. We then need to insert axes. In this video, the meter ruler has been held loosely so that it hangs close to vertical. So here the vertical axis is chosen to lie in line with the ruler. This can be adjusted by dragging the axis. It's possible to zoom in to see features of the video more clearly. Scale is determined by adding a new calibration stick. The ends are marked by holding down shift and left clicking. The length is set to one meter. To set the end frames of the motion of interest, we can drag the frame head to the start of the motion we wish to analyze. Here I've chosen the moment at which the ball is first accelerated upwards. Then we right click and select set start frame to slider. We can then move the playhead to the end of the motion of interest, right click and select set end frame to slider. We drag the playhead back to the start, and then to track the motion of the ball, we select Track, then New Point Mass. If the video has a uniform background, then the Auto Tracker feature can be used. In this video, I will manually track the top of the ball by holding Shift and left clicking. The entire motion diagram can be displayed by selecting all steps and the velocity vectors can also be displayed if desired. Position time and velocity time graphs for the vertical motion can be displayed by left clicking the vertical axis of the graph on the right of the screen. The data can be analysed in more detail by holding down the right mouse button and dragging to select Analyse from the menu shown. By holding down the control key and dragging, a portion of the data can be selected. Here I've chosen the part of the motion where the ball is in freefall. Under Analyse, it's possible to select a linear curve fit. Here the gradient of the velocity time graph is minus 10 metres per second to the minus 2 consistent with acceleration due to gravity during freefall.